Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing Richard Earle's Topology and this is in the A Very Short Introduction series. So these are very small books that concisely introduce a topic on hand and I decided to pick up this book and give it a read. So topology is a field that has caught my attention for a while. I received my degree in mathematics and while we discussed topological concepts in some of my other classes, I never took a dedicated undergraduate class for topology. So this is a field that I have decided to do some self-study in and I wanted to read some books and do some self-study on this field because it has become interesting to me. I really enjoy overall these short introduction books because I feel like they give just the right amount of information to get you started on a topic. And they have a short introduction to basically any concept that you could think of. There's a huge section at the beginning which is just covered in different ideas. So I decided to give this a read and see what I thought about topology, a very short introduction. So there are six sections in this book and by virtue of the, the theme, a very short introduction, it's going to move fast. So the six sections are what is topology, an overview, something that the author started with, which I wasn't, which I was actually surprised about is he used the letters of the alphabet to describe topology. So topology is more about how these shapes relate to one another and whether or not they can be deformed without cutting or gluing into another shape as opposed to geometry, which is much more rigid. And the classic example that's frequently used is a donut and a coffee cup. If you look up the Wikipedia page, that is the example used there, as well as I believe a sphere and a holeless cow are the other examples on the page. But this author decided to start with letters of the alphabet, which I thought was a little bit of an unusual choice. The author then moves on to making surfaces, then thinking continuously, then chapter four, the plane and other spaces, five flavors of topology and flavors of topology is just the different branches of topology. So the two that were really covered in depth were in depth. I mean, it's a very short introduction. So as in depth as you can get were differential topology and algebraic topology. And finally, there was a section of not theory on a not or not to be. Then epilogue, index, historical timeline, further reading. So the little back ends of, the, of any nonfiction book that you read. So out of the six sections, the parts that were most interesting to me were the thinking continuously. I felt like that section really challenged me and algebraic topology. I felt like algebraic topology had a lot of ties to the um, abstract algebra course that I took in college, or I remember some of the concepts discussed that in this book in that section were in my abstract algebra course. So I felt feel like those two sections were the favorite for me individually. Do keep in mind that because this is a short introduction, the author moves very quickly through the topics at hand. So overall, it's a very, very comprehensive intro. It covers a wide variety of topics in 120 around pages. So I think it's very comprehensive in that regard, but it does move very, very fast. And this is not for the faint of heart. I have a four year degree in math, as I believe I've already mentioned, and my college background helped me in understanding this book. I think this book would be a challenge. I don't mean to dissuade you, but I think you might have to go a little slower if you don't have a college background or any self-study background in any advanced mathematics beyond what you took in high school. So this book, I think, it's good, but it's designed to go short and fast, and you can tell that it goes short and fast. So I think the actual use case for this book might be different than what the author might be intended. And I'll get into you. So I'll get into that in a second. So one thing now I want to talk about is rating and how I think about a book that I've read. I think that my rating of a book might depend or it does depend on what I have read before that point. So when I've read when I'm getting interested in a topic, introduction books are great because it introduces me to a topic. I usually read some introduction books and then maybe I go into some more depth to get some more detail on specifics in the field that I'm reading about. And in the case of topology, I actually very recently read another book that was fantastic. It was called Euler's Gem, I believe by David Richeson. I do have the review of Euler's Gem on my channel. So if you are listening to this review, please also check out my review for Euler's Gem because that book introduced topology for someone with a high school background only and did it in a fantastic way. Now this is not a snide or a uh, any shade to Richard Earle's topology, a very short introduction, but I think where this book may come in handy is for if you are in a topology course and you want a little handy guide to accompany you throughout the course. 
That's what this feels aimed for. This again feels really aimed for people who have a little bit of background where Euler's Gem was just such a good, comprehensive, enjoyable introduction that wasn't too fast, that didn't feel like it was getting a lot of information crammed in, and it could be digested by someone with out very much mathematical background, which I think is the real advantage. I think that book is just much more accessible to people who want to get started in topology purely from a self-study or in personal interest section. Well, this book feels like there's an assumption that you already have some strong background in mathematics. And this would be great if you were in a formal topology course or in a self-study course and you wanted something to reference along your way. So I think overall this is probably a three-star read. Again, I think it's only because I had read such a better book on topology before. If this was the first book I had read on topology, I think it may have been a different story, but because I had already read Euler's Gem, I think for the average person looking to get into this, I would recommend starting with Euler's Gem. But if you have read Euler's Gem, if you're comfortable with a little bit more of a faster paced book that delves more into the details, or if you're taking a formal topology course and you want a guidebook, that's where this book, yeah, I'm holding it up correctly, this book, Topology, a very short introduction, may come into handy. Overall though, it wasn't enjoyable, even if it was fast paced book to read, it was quite comprehensive, and I was very surprised in how much they were able to put into 120 pages. So if anything I said sounds interesting to you, also check out Euler's Gem, but check out Topology, a very short introduction, and let me know what you thought about this book in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.